My name is Nick Dakovich. I'm a research biologist with the Department of Fish and Game, Division of Sport Fish. We're at Lake Creek at a new project where you put a sonar in the water for the purpose of counting Chinook salmon. Um, the sonar unit is across the river from us here. It's an actual lens in the water that operates the same way as the, the fish finder does on your boat. It's just a fancier um, version of it. Lake Creek is a tributary of the Yetna drainage and currently on the, some of those streams that flow into the Yetna, we do single pass aerial surveys and count Chinook salmon and we know that we only count a small fraction of the Chinook salmon that are in the river from the air. With a sonar project, we get a more accurate count that's closer to the actual number so that we can then compare that to our aerial count and have a better understanding of what the actual fraction is that we're counting from the air. And that's important because those aerial counts are part of um, the data that goes into our model where we model the escapement and the total in-river runs um, to the whole Yetna drainage. So with the sonar project, a better estimation of that model parameter of the fraction that we count from the air. We coordinated with a fishing lodge at the, at the mouth of Lay Creek, uh, choosing this location, and they were very interested in this project. They had some ideas for us, and we went and we checked them out last summer, and this was one of them. We was chosen because the sonar can see across the river here, which is important because many spots here, you're, you, you just, you're gonna hit a rock. Um, but we can see it all the way across the entire channel here and it's also mostly above where a lot of the sport fishing occurs that way we don't have to worry about um, anglers interfering with the sonar and we're not interfering with it with a really good fishing hole and the Chinook salmon we've noticed largely migrate past here quickly they don't mill around because it's not there's no back eddy or anything like that so it's a great spot because the fish are generally motoring upstream past us, which is what we want. This project has been staffed in the field with two technicians. Part of our morning routine is to check those and make sure that those are uh, up to par. So they've been primarily making sure that the sonar is operating correctly. Um, we're at a remote location with, you know, we're, we're off the grid, of course. So making sure we have a solar powered battery bank that's been primarily running the sonar with a generator as a backup. Every morning we start up a generator for a couple hours to get it charged to fully charge. So that system has been, has, has, takes a lot of maintenance, so they've been keeping busy working on that. They've been analyzing the, the files, the, the images of, you know, that are produced by the sonar and coming up with daily count. And right here, this line uh, usually indicates there's a fish. As you can see, there's a fish right there. We're going to look at those files again here over the next month or so to look at them once, twice, three times and make sure we're, we're confident in what we're looking at because it's a new project. The images of fish swimming past the sonar are fairly clear, but there are other species in the river at the same time. We, we think it's pretty minimal and we think it's primarily rainbow trout. So we've been doing a little bit of sampling of rainbow trout and getting lengths on those. And the software that we use to um, get the counts of Chinook. We can also measure fish using that, so we can kind of compare that to the average length of rainbows. It says right there, length is 36.2 centimeters. So that one would be a countable fish. We might have to make some adjustments as far as a cutoff um, of size of what we consider to be a Chinook salmon, um, but we're really, that's really preliminary, so we're not, we're not quite sure where that cutoff is. The support from the guide community out here and the locals has been overwhelmingly positive. Um, everybody's glad that we're actually doing more to assess Chinook salmon, that it's a species that's near and dear to them. Honestly, the most important thing we've learned is that this project's gonna be successful so that we can run it in future years.